Oh, we actually... Wow. The person... Okay, so we got a pop-up at the start of the turn. Wang Kuang's faction... Wang Kuang's died, and his faction leader has passed to Yi Jian Li Ting, who was in command of the army that we just beat, and we've killed her. So, literally, the turn that she took over, she stepped into Zheng Zhang's pit and died. None of that really matters. Let's get agricultural tax relief. Which is uh, only when the regime thrives will China thrive. And to, ex and to succeed, certain elements must be tolerated. Spring 206. Time for a savoru. We are indeed. Well, I'm not. I don't even want to say that we're finally turning it around yet, Mad Dog. We're finally giving our own. Like nobody's running us out of the mountains now, but uh, everybody still seems to want to try. She's just become Lu Bu's officer. That's Lu Bu's flag. How the hell did that happen? What just happened there? Dong Min commanded their vassal Zhang Chao to go to war with me. Yeah, sure, who cares? Yu and Xu declared war on Ma Tung. Faction, faction succession. Yi Jian Li Ting was succeeded by Lu Bu. So Lu Bu must have left Dong Min's faction. That's why Dong Min's still in control in 206, because Lu Bu didn't stay and didn't usurp him in turn. Instead, he went to Wang Kuang eventually and has just usurped well he's just been made the leader after yi jin ting was killed by us so great we're at war with lu bu you know that's just like we want to be really you don't have enough movement to get them are you kidding me we don't have the money to be pissing around, Jung Jang. You need to win. Flipping Lu Bu. Who's he been? Who's he served then? Can we go find him on the character list and see how many? Where he's been? Uh, chances are he's probably one of the highest instinct. Yep, there we go. So he served Dong Min until 205, so only l last year, and then he uh, became loyal to himself. So did he, unless it's just because he's taken over that faction, it's just not considering that faction as like a separate one. Maybe he's only just got there, but still. So they uh, must have recruited Lu Bu to try and turn the war around. <laughs> And they were too late to save themselves and just gave him the faction instead. Well done, guys. Um, I'm going to try and beat this army, but I'm going to push to Shangdang Farmland as well and try and capture that. Or at least raid it, because I really need cash. Oh, and right on time, Mr. Antiques dealer himself, Kong Rong, arrives and says that useless crappy clay warrior that you've got six of can i buy one of them for a thousand gold of course you can kong wrong why would you not be allowed to do that kong wrong oh there's another lubu army Dong Min commanded their vassal Tao Ying to join the war against Ma Tung. We have gained a clay cup. Sure, Kong Rong will come and get that soon. It's 
harvest season. Let's move to there and encamp so that we're defending the pass. Apparently we can upgrade Tai Yuen, but it would take all of our money, so we're not going to do that. Han Fu wants a non-aggression pact, but he wants to extort me for it, so no. Learn from Kong Rong, Han Fu. That dude knows how to, uh, how to get things from me. Money is the answer. Okay, Lu Bu's armies are withdrawing back to Herdong, which means we can attack Shangdong. Stop telling me! That is literally like the fourth or fifth time it's told me that I can change the difficulty if I want. Right. How powerful is their garrison? It's pretty powerful, but we are predicted low casualties and a decisive victory, so we'll delegate. That wasn't a lot of moolah. So we will sack and withdraw and take three and a half thousand gold with us. Chung Jiang gained another rank. She was 18 when this campaign started. She's 34 now. Fifty percent attrition short. Wait a minute. Let fifty percent less attrition from military supply shortage when commanding. I mean, God knows we could have done with that a while ago, but we'll take it now. Right. Excellent. I'm not surprised. It probably thinks you've only got two cities and it's like turn 82. You're an idiot. What are you doing? But that's fine. It can think that if it wants. It doesn't understand what we've been through to get here. Gong Sun Shu's army's just arrived. It's probably going to take Shandong farmland, but that's fine as well because I took the money. Which is what I need. And I, as much as the start... Hold up. Non-aggression pact. Still want me to pay for it. You can still go to hell. As much as I think I got the start a bit wrong. This is how you're supposed to like build Jung Jang up. You're not supposed to like occupy absolutely everything. You're supposed to loot. You're supposed to t steal money. You're supposed to keep yourself afloat by like lump sums going into your treasury, not necessarily by having an income. The Yuan Shao Festival. As the night draws in, you hear the sounds of celebration in the distance. Distracted from your meditations, you see hundreds upon hundreds of brightly coloured paper lanterns hanging from every house and tree. The sight is truly beautiful to behold. Plus 10 public order for the next five turns. I don't mind if I do. Right. It's winter. But we're going to force march back to the toolmaker. Because we're going to try and get up to Yan Mun and take that. If poss. We only came back down because Wang. Yep, Gong Sun Shu's taken the Shandong farmland. Dong Min wants peace, but still wants me to pay for it. You're still not getting the message, are you, Dong Min? Ah, Zhang Yan himself. And a Lu Bu army. Is he... Is Gong Sun Shu... I need to check whether Gong Sun Shu is at war with Lu Bu or not. Because otherwise they'll walk straight past him. Word reaches you that the great Juga Leong, self-styled sleeping dragon after the ridge near hit to his home, offers his considerable talents to Liu Bei. 
Good for Liu Bei, I guess. Right, who are you at war with, buddy? Jiang Yan and Dong Min, but not Lu Bu. Which means that that Lu Bu army... That's too, that's too weak to even take the garrison on its own, never mind. Let's go. And we have another reform. So we will grab... What are, what's our income? I know I keep checking this because I'm an idiot, but... Mostly industry. Okay. Uh, merchant tax exemption. All men, according to their ability, must pay tithes to their rulers. An offer of thanks for benevolent leadership. Yes, give me more money. that is spring 207 save a time excellent and end it doesn't understand the struggle mr jeff berry and like i think i don't know if anybody's actually been here for the whole struggle like i know sarah disappeared but she was here at the start ryan was here at the start seems to have gone Mad Dog came in, like, as we were in the struggle, but didn't see the very beginning. Like, we've been on a journey. Liu Dai's faction's been destroyed. Chu Gong has gained the trait Stubborn. Huh. We've gained a Land Shaper. Uh... Yin Li, you're not on assignment anymore. But you could be. Go down there. People of merit. Liu Dai is available. Because <laughs> his faction was just destroyed. He's 60 years old and a rank 4. Yeah. I can't really afford to pay him wages to make him happy, so... Zhang Yan is now way down there with Tsuma Xiangan and... Oh, Li Damu. You know what? I fancy a little bit of a gamble that... Uh, well, he can't make it back up the pass, and that he doesn't have a second army in Yanmen. Which he doesn't. Oh, he does have an administrator, though, which means it's got an extra retinue. Guan Dai. Well, hello there. <laughs> well, hello there. Popping up like Obi-Wan! Uh, Liu Bei? Pay me 600 f and I give you a Jade Horse for a non-aggression pact. I'd love a non-aggression pact with you, Liu Bei, but I don't want to give you my Jade Horse. Could we maybe skip the Jade Horse? I'm afraid what the hell I'm afraid this isn't gonna work Liu Bei I'm sorry
Cao Cao declared war on Liu Bei. Dong Min joined the war against Cao Cao. A friend in need. A general regales a recent battle. In particular, he mentions a mutual friend of yours who, seeing another in dire situation, leaps to his defense. His blade, it is said, appears to be moved by heaven itself, finding its mark, felling the foe and saving the friend. His courage is commendable. Chu Gong deepening his relationship with both of the Jung sisters in one event to the point where he's now oath sworn with them both i fucking love chu gong i mean he was a proper whinger at be the beginning but uh, maybe he was just like stop letting kong chien be in my place yin li is now uh has leveled up I would like Yin Li. He's not a really a general, and he's 47, so chances are he's not going to be a general. We'll get him stability so that if we get an administrator slot, he can give public order to an administrated commandery. Who is that? Yuin Shao. I don't know where Zhang Yan's gone, but. It's possible he's trying to come up here to get us. We would win a Pyrrhic victory. However, in one turn they will start taking losses from supplies being depleted. So, does that change the outcome? Nope. We'll continue the siege. We're actually in level 2 of infamy. We're in Acknowledged. Which gives us plus 5 morale, plus 25% tribute in diplomacy. We get plus 20 prestige. I haven't actually looked at prestige at all. It's really hard to get prestige with Zheng Zhang. Alright. Let's see if Zhang Yan comes running back up here or not. Gong Sun Shu wants a trade agreement and he's going to pay me nearly two grand for it. I love you, Gong Sun Shu. You're a proper dude. Who's the man? Mad Dog? No sign of Zhang Yan. That bodes well for us. Chu Gong has earned the trait energetic and has become legendary. He's pipped himself over the legendary post. Somehow. Excellent. Good job, Chu Gong. Oh, yeah, Chu Gong. Yeah, he's great. Um, not ZHG. But otherwise, yes, that is how we spell it. It's Chu Gong, not Chu Jong. Still Pyrrhic victory. That's fine. We've got all the time in the world. You want to invite Yuan Shao to the coalition? You can try, mate. Yeah, didn't think he'd do it. Yeah, Chu Gong. Yuan Shao! Uh, no. I'm not giving you a horse so that you promise not to attack me. Decisive victory. Delegate! Gain three infamy. We will take the money. It's now winter. Surely to God we should be able to just beat them now. Yep, decisive victory. Delegate. 
<laughs> we looted a whole 15 gold. Three more in for me. We're going to loot and occupy, which will reduce the settlement settlement level, but we gain 13 in for me. And I don't want to sack and withdraw. I do want to keep it. So we're going to loot and occupy. And that's actually that mission we got ages ago. Three settlements. Which means we get two infamy for the next three turns. So another six infamy. A rare talent. Though war brings chaos and disharmony to China, there is glory to be gained in battle all the same. As warriors clash on the battlefield, the victorious cover themselves in glory. One particular warrior excels, a unique talent that you would do well to keep close. And then we have a new mission from each according to their ability. My lady, the generals under your command are talented individuals, each with an array of skills that they can put to use in improving your realm. In each commandery, they can be sent on assignments to oversee and improve the infrastructure, both military and civic, of your lands. Each character has different qualities to bring the, to these endeavours, so inspect your options carefully. So send a character on an assignment, which we already have one on. So we get another six of infamy over the next three turns. Jung Jiang seeks to demonstrate her power. By climbing the ladder of the nobility in your own way, you will prove to the decadent snobs of the Han nobility that you are every inch their equal and more. Now that Dong Zhuo is dead, they will learn that they took his buffoonery for granted. Soon they will see, as your power grows, they will fall in line. Or fall. Excellent. That's a badass achievement to get, Mad Dog. That's in like nearly every Total War game, and I'm always like, "What? You have to fight every battle and not lose? That's such a time sink." All right, yeah. Who's the rare talent that we picked up? Uh, she Jen, apparently. Twenty-five years old, greedy, fulfilled, and distinguished. Comes in as a finance advisor. And Chu Gong is leveled up. My boy. Instinct lowers the recruitment cost, and I'm think I might be giving him his own army at some point. He might be the second army commander if he lives long enough. So I'm going to give him reach to improve his instinct and give him 25% campaign movement range if he's commanding. Which he's not right now, but that's not the problem. Jiang Yan's moved his capital to the small city in, in, in Heidong, so he's down the south now. All right, I'm gonna. Why, why are you making me click on assignments? I don't want to click on assignments. Jesus, go away. All right, this is a level three city. Oh no, it's a, so it's a large town, which means it doesn't cost us any food right now, but apparently we're still making minus three food. How? Probably because we're, this food trader sells a load of it. So I would prefer not to have this food trader, but can I, can I downgrade it to a land registry office? Or do I have to take a turn to repair it and then do that? Okay. This is a tax collector, which is going to lower public order by a stack load. So that's going to end up going as well. 
right, next turn we need to reassess what Yarn Men's gonna have. Mount Wu Tai, a collection of flat topped peaks. Wu Tai contains so many monasteries that pilgrims journey from beyond our borders seeking enlightenment. Oh, that's cool! The monasteries are actually on it! Hey! Look at that! That's awesome! Yeah, man, my dog, two months. That's It's actually crazy to me that you've done a campaign in two months. Let alone that you've done that achievement in two months. Like, campaigns for me usually take, like, years. Challenge issued. Two bandits fight in the mountains, Shadow. High in the mountains, the Heishan bandits claim to be rebels, but their allegiance to the Han is well known. Their claim to banditry is an insult, so they must face the blade for their insolence. Destroy Jiang Yan. Well, that shouldn't be too, like, against the grain of what we're doing. Yeah, they do seem to be able to do that pretty well. Right. Um, first off, I don't want to be losing food. So we're going to switch this thing... Do we want to switch it over? That's going to generate food, but we don't need to. Now we'll switch it over for now. And then this. I would like to downgrade. In fact, I'd prefer to demolish it, to be honest, but. And just start from the bottom. Did you just... That's interesting, you click downgrade and it... Uh... Wait, what? Oh, right, yeah. No, I'm with it. I'm an idiot, never mind. Right, public order in there is going down, so we... We've got 15 turns. Faction support is going to go up anyway, and that building's modifier is going to go down so we shall move to it's spring so we'll just move to the border because we're going to go and take the Tai Yuan iron mine and we're going to upgrade Tai Yuan itself to a town because we've got the money and then we can do a reform Minus 8% corruption. Plus 2 public order. Local patrols. That's not bad. Peace can only be attained through vigilance. Negligence leads to chaos and chaos to renewed war. Let's do that. We'll get a flat plus 2 public order bonus. And I think we definitely need another Savaru and we will overwrite Twitch 1 this time. Like 60 turns ago that we saved that. <laughs> Dong Min wants peace, still wants me to pay for it. Still not gonna. Oh, that's a big Jiang Yan army. They never get distracted trying to withdraw to defend the territory they Leroy hold as you advance. They just abandon their cities and try to ruin your achievement. It's like they know what you're trying to attain. I hope that they don't, man. I hope you manage to get there, my dog. That would be super cool. Dong Min has commanded Han Sui to attack Yuan Shao. Yuan Shu declared war on Cao Cao. Huang Zhu declared war on Yuan Shu. Right keep looking at this uh, oh good we got rid of it completely so we're getting plus six food again and um, has public order in here stopped being stupid uh, no because of faction support but that'll change right 
So we've got irrigated farms. Let's get estate workshops. Yeah, we'll get state workshops in Yunnan. Wow, that's a lot of archers. Who is that? Dong Li. With Liu Ji and Guan Dai. And actually, just to make sure that she doesn't could become a problem for me, I would like it if you would get rid of her. Could I not get rid of her? Thank you. Meanwhile, we are going to maneuver east. Excellent. Already not Leroy. <laughs> Thought you were like Le they were saying that they were Leroy Jenkins and stuff. Oh shit, where did that. Oh. Dong me, you bastard. <laughs> Suma Yi! It appears that Suma Yi, a famed recluse, has forsaken his isolation to offer his talents to a warlord. A warlord obviously in possession of admirable powers of persuasion. I hadn't seen Suma Yi in my Cao Cao 1, and we got like 40 turns further on than this. There you go, Suma Yi. Ah, oh, the poor citizens of Taiyuan. How far can she move? Not that far. I'm gonna gamble that there's not another army in Taiyuan Iron Mine. Ah, uh, there is, but he's not going to beat us. Zhao Ang. And the Iron Mine garrison is quite ferocious. Holy crap. Right. Dong Min's going to take Tai Yuan <laughs> Town. Non aggression pact. He's become the Duchy of Shu Han already. I'm not paying for it. It is definitely an achievement, Mr. Mr. Jeff Berry. I just I almost said Mr. Jeff and I was like there's a second part to that name but I can't remember it. He's legged it that guy in the mine. He's gone. And apparently Dong Min decided not to attack Tai Yuan. Yuan Shu signed a peace treaty with Dong Min. Resourceful versus stubborn. Your, you encounter, whilst strolling, two contemporaries locked in a bitter dispute. Your words are nothing to me, the first snorts. I will not listen to such nonsense. Talk, talk, talk. I shall endure. Your stubbornness is ignorance. Water will find a way around any obstacle, argues the second. You, on the other hand, are unsure as to what they are actually arguing about. Well, we uh, apparently aren't allowed to back Lu Zheng, so let's side with Chu Gong instead. And it looks like Gong Sun Shu sent Song Jin Ting to try and take Tai Yuan Iron Mine. But she's a little bit too late. Decisive victory. Delegate. Thanks for the Iron Mine, kids. Infamy, uh, 
we will just... No, we'll loot and occupy. We'll go for the infamy. Commander Ian Conquer. I love the name of that achievement. With this commandery under my control, I am as powerful as any of these other noble warlords. Soon they shall know just how strong I am. Bonus experience for Jung Jiang. Let's repair the iron mine. Tai Yuen secured for like the next turn. If we look at this in terms of who we're fighting. We've now secured our north and east. Minus a couple of Zhang Yan's armies. Which means as frustrating as it is that we might lose Tai Yuen again, we can now come back around and just fight on one front. Now, what I will do is take a look at uh, Dong Mi. He is the bulk of our enemies, I think. Zhang Chao is his vassal, or Lu Bu's his vassal as well. The Han Empire are his vassal, Han Sui is his vassal, Zhang Yan is his vassal. So if we made peace with Dong Min, we'd be making peace with everybody that we're currently at war with. Which would slow down our expansion, yes, <laughs> but it might stop him taking Tai Shan, so would he be up for it without extortion? Not really. Oh, he's got trebs. All right. Sun Shu wants a clay warrior for a ridiculous sum of money. Of course, Gong Sun Shu. My honourable friend, I will always send you clay toy men for stupid money. Dong Min didn't attack again. What is he doing? No! I'm still not gonna do it! Dong Min declared war on Ma Tung. Actually, who is Dong Min at war with? Like, lots of people. People I can't even see. The Northeast is all I know that he's at war with, like, visibly. Yeah, the Huns and Mongolia are terrible for that kind of stuff in Total War. Yuan Shao wants me to make a token payment of 55 gold for a non-aggression pact I'm still gonna say no you pay me 55 gold and sure it's yours I don't understand what Dong means doing The alliance of the Duchy of Shu Han signed a peace treaty with Cao Cao. The Duchy of Shu Han confederated Liu Biao. That'll be the Liu Bei event. Duchy of Shu Han confederated Liu Biao. The Nine Bestowments. Another faction is given the Nine Bestowments. Their path to emperorship is clearly set. Chuffin Liu Bei again. Feng Shi Xi Shen. Oh, 
上去埋伏。Okay, reforms. What's that? Twenty-five percent less building upkeep. That translates to profit. Uh, pottery bricks. Even the greatest of structures must start with a single brick. Yuanshu wants a non-aggression pact, but I have to pay for it. No. Dongmin commanded Liu Zhang to declare war on Ma Tung, but that also means he's at war with Sun Jin, apparently. Dongmin declared war on Ma Tung, Ma Tung declared war on the Han Empire, Tao Ying joined a war alongside Dongmin against Huang Zhu. And we can get back into Tai Yuan. Excellent, right. In that case, let's spend a bit of cash to improve our state workshops in Yanmun. And let's have, oh, you know what, we should probably get married. So that we actually have some children, right? Or should we do that? Should we do it without getting married? Apparently, Lu Zheng is my heir, but she's not mine. Oops. Does it have to be a family member that you appoint to? I don't want to click it, but yes, we are eligible for marriage. You know what? There is one person I'd consider it from. Hey, Gong Sun Xu. Uh, Tai Mao is in Gong Sun Xu's court. What's he like as a person, though? We know nothing about him. Yeah, no. No thanks, Gong Sun Shu. I think I'll pass on that. Let the sister have the offspring, my dog. That's kind of what I was thinking. Like, if Jung Jiang just doesn't care about, like, that kind of dynasty building, and so Lu Jung inherits whenever Jung Jung dies... And then let Lu Zhong be the one that's worried about it. Uh, Three Kingdoms is from 184 officially. The game starts 190 AD and it runs to about 280 AD. And there were indeed horse tribes to the north. I don't know if they were considered the Mongols or the Huns, but they were like proto-Mongols and proto-Huns for sure. Right. Good God, Gong Sun Shu's got a stack load of men. Hello, Dong Mean. Still want me to pay for it? Still not happening. And now she attacks. That was very courteous of her. To wait for Jung Jiang to come back.
The Garning. <gasps> that's definitely... Yeah, Pirate of the Bells. That's Wu's Garning. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's happening. I don't give a shit how much money it costs. We are getting Garning. And we are fucking well marrying Garning as well. Jung Jiang married to Gan Ning. Awesome. <laughs> oh shit, I didn't even look what his previous loyalties were, if there were any. Which they were, he fought for Kong Rong. Hopefully he's not a spy. <laughs> yeah, he's got a grudge against Kong Rong. He was dissatisfied whilst a general, so hopefully that's a legitimate grudge. Right. Who have we got here? Dong Pei Shan with Sima Fu or Suma Fu and Li Yu. Well, get away from my building, bitches. Wow. They have got two trebs and we've got no cav. That might well be a weakness in this army. feel like, again, it's cheesing it a little bit, but it has given me battles that I've won that it said I would lose. And in this case, it's one where I think it thinks I'm going to win and I think I would lose. So I'm going to delegate. Wow, we killed all three of them. If you can't surrender, die. What the hell? What's that achievement? Playing as any faction, kill 92,413 enemies. I feel like that's combining both my campaigns for sure, but still, that's we've already Three Kingdoms came out like 36 hours ago, and we've killed 92,000 people. Wow, that's incredible. Uh, we are going to take the income because our replenishment is fine, and we so is our military supply actually. Oops, turn the camera back the right way. Killed in battle, Dong Pei Shan. Killed in battle, Li Yu. Killed in battle, Suma Fu. Right. Yin Li. Oh, I have to go to the settlement. Idiot. Assignments. Oh, you can only. Yin Li. Go and supervise construction again. Yeah, Genghis Khan's nowhere near this time, but uh, the guys that came before him that were doing the same stuff as him definitely get definitely a problem for for Three Kingdoms China. Uh, right, let's get a shift on and get down to Tai Yuan Toolmaker because Zhang Yan's got armies down here. And we need to repair the stuff in there. Chugong is 46. I think I'm going to put Gan Ning into Jung Jiang's army and give him Cav, because that's one of the weaknesses that we've got. And we'll give Chu Gong a second army, but we're not quite ready for a second army yet. But that's the plan. Oh, you're definitely right in that there were Huns or Mongols. They might not have been calling themselves that, but they're from the same place, they fought the same way, they lived the same way. So, 
Yes, pro like I said, proto Huns or proto Mongols. Like they were the guys that came before the ones that actually called themselves that. But you're spot on. They existed and they were there. You want to invite Yuan Shao to the coalition. Shall we try? Oh, he said no. That's such a shock. Gongsun Shu's armies are just chasing Zhang Yan's armies away. Uh, Gongsun Shu is requesting military support against Kong Rong. Oh no! Poor Kong Rong! Wait, if we rejected Gongsun Shu would like us and Kong Rong wouldn't. Uh, I feel like that doesn't work. I mean, he'd like us less than if we said yes, but he'd still like us, apparently. Well, we kind of have to, right? Because he's our only ally. Oh, no! Sorry, we're going to have to reject. Who did we just go to war with? Was it Gongsun Shu? Did we go to war with Gongsun Shu because we rejected? What happened? What the fuck just happened? <laughs> Kong Rong was liberated by Dong Min and formed a coalition with Yuan Shao immediately and declared war on Gongsun Shu. What's our diplomatic situation? No, we're still in a coalition with Gongsun Shu. And we're not at war with Kong Rong. Fantastic. We've gained a labor recruiter. Uh, and we can also improve Tai Yuan to a large town. And why is that locked? Must upgrade to a small city first. Oh, okay. We already have land development. Okay, cool. Uh, Genghis Khan ruled over the largest contiguous empire in world history, meaning contiguous making the specification that like the British Empire at its height doesn't count because it wasn't all connected by land. Genghis Khan ruled the largest empire that was all connected to each other by land in human history. Dong Li down here looks like ripe for the picking. So let's go pick. Doesn't want to fight. Can't really say I'm surprised, but they didn't run far enough. I think we've captured both of them. Three in for me. Ancillary's gained. We captured Guan Dai. He's 41. He really doesn't like Xiao, uh, Zhao Yun or Guan Jing. And he likes Dong Li. Claims he's fonder of his head than he is loyal to Zhang Yan. He's healthy. Wise. And stalwart. And scarred. He is actually quite a dude. We'll employ him. And then we'll ransom the troops. Okay. War coordination target cancelled. That's fine. Gained a professional's raiment. Nine expertise. 
I don't know if we've got anybody that really needs that. give him plus six expertise and lower his authority by three. That's fine. You can have a professional's Raymond Yin Lee. Oh, look at that. Awesome. Right. Let's just have a look. If she's not, we're not changing her weapon for sure. She's currently using the Scholar, which is giving character experience. Those guys help administered commanderies, so there's no point in having that. Um, resolve improves the general's health. But if we've got something that improves authority, which we do, I've already seen, but... I'm going to give Jung Jang the clay fish and improve authority because that boosts satisfaction faction wide. Chu Gong, mm, you don't really administer commanderies, so none of those followers are going to work. Apparently, we have forged iron scale, which is three more resolve and three more instinct. And otherwise exactly the same as what he's already wearing. Have some forged iron scale, Chugong. Boosh, he's got a hat. Uh, mounts. I'm pretty sure we've got a better horse for you as well. Plus two resolve. We could give you a brown thoroughbred. Which is just a flat two gain and everything else being better. How about that? Do you like that? There you go. Um, we're going to keep him with that for now, I think, because Cunning um, gives... I don't think he's got any archers, actually, in his retinue, but it gives extra supplies to the army. Uh, Lu Jung currently has a white horse, which grants her authority, which we're probably doing for the satisfaction, because she's the faction A. So, she's at plus two right now. We gave her that. She'd almost be legendary on Cunning. Screw it, let's swap her over. And... That boosts her authority as well. Yeah, we'll leave it at that. Yin Li, don't really have a better weapon for him, or a better horse. We don't have an administrator slot yet, so instinct. This improves satisfaction. We've got the Jade Horse, which does eight, but I don't think we need to use it just yet. We'll keep it in his back pocket. Cool. Well, we'll keep pushing. Uh, oh, we can't push this turn. And it's winter next turn, actually. Dong Min's really powerful in this uh, this playthrough. The amount of vassals he's got is insane. 
commanded Lu Bu to go to war with Gong Sun Shu. I didn't realise... Oh, they weren't at war, were they? Kong Rong requested Yuan Shao to join the war against Gong Sun Shu as well. Oh, Gong Sun Shu is about to start struggling, I think. <gasps> Are you shitting me? He was fighting for Cao Cao. Now, he very much could be a spy, but if Cao Cao is sending Suma Yi out as a spy, then he's an idiot. I'm bagging him. I don't care. Oh, she can't marry Suma Yi. Sima Fu was his friend, or was his family even, uh, but is dead. Didn't Sima Fu fight against us? I think he did. I think he might have even died against us. Well, we can't click on him once he's dead. Sima Yi, oh wow, he's already, he's about to go. Desires higher court position. Badly. Uh, okay. He is chief of records right now. Still desires higher court position. Alright, well, we'll just. I think he's gonna leave next turn, to be honest. He may well take this jade horse with him, but if it's enough to change his satisfaction, I'm going to do it. I mean, he can't be a spy if he's that willing to leave. I guess we'll see if he stays. Uh, we will encamp for the winter. already gone. You can see that he's not on the list. Sun Jian formed a coalition with Yuan Shu. Dong Min has been succeeded by Du Bao Shu Du Bao Ju. Sima Yi and Sumi Yi has left. Wow, it's no wonder he's in the market. The Great Divide. Your officials witness smoke rising from one of your villages when visiting it for a routine inspection. Assisting the garrison there to kill a small group of men armed with flaming torches, they then ask where the attackers came from. The garrison commander explains that the rioters were in fact locals, protesting one of your recent decrees. As your star rises, the divide between ruler and subjects is unavoidable. You will have to monitor public order more closely. Diminished supplies. Well, it was worth trying to get to me. That looks like we've got the river protecting us. Zhang Yan. Oh, sorry, Herdong has a single retinue garrison, but there was an army kicking around somewhere. Number 
bomb time. Rammed earth, less building upkeep. The earth endures long after the rest of us are gone. Translates to more money, so why not? And then... Uh, Taiyuan can be... Oh, right. Because it's got a blank space in it. But we're not using that right now. Get the saver -roo done. That was turn 99, guys. <laughs> 